Apple's iPad is a versatile tool for many people. One of the most popular use cases, I think, is to use the tablet as a way to take notes using an Apple Pencil. I'm Jason Cipriani, and in this ZDNet how-to video, I'm gonna walk you through how to use an Apple Pencil to take notes quickly and easily on your iPad. All right, so no matter what model iPad you have, as long as it's made within the last few years, odds are it's compatible with an Apple Pencil. There's a first generation Apple Pencil that actually sticks into the bottom of iPads with a lightning port. And then there's a second generation Apple Pencil that magnetically attaches to the top of the iPad in order to charge as well as uh, pair it with the iPad itself. I'll include a list of which devices are compatible with which version of Apple Pencil in the description down below. So you can figure out based on your iPad model which Apple Pencil you need if you don't already have one. If you do have an Apple Pencil though, you should know that taking notes is quick and easy, especially if you use Apple's Notes app. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do this on the iPad over here. So I have my iPad Pro, this is a 12.9 inch model and a second generation Apple Pencil. There are a few different ways to go about taking notes. One is to launch into the Notes app you can see I was already scribbling here and, and messing around, but you can launch into the Notes app and just tap on the new note or compose button and then simply begin writing. You don't have to tap on the Apple Pencil icon up top there. That actually just brings up this toolbar down below, as you can see. So you can draw, sketch, you can um, change colors using the toolbar, do all of that. But let's say you wanted to write and have your handwriting converted to text automatically. You tap that pencil down there with the A on it, and then you just write. And you'll see it kind of fades out as you write, and your tablet identifies your text. All right, so if I wanted to convert handwriting to text, I'll stick with the hi, how are you theme. What I would do is long press on the first handwritten area and then scroll across to highlight everything. And then as you can see, some options pop up. Copy as text will do exactly that. It'll copy it as a line of text that I can then paste in and say, hi, how are you? So your notes are organized in folders. This is a quick and easy way to uh, sync notes between all of your Apple devices. You don't have to worry about losing your notes if you leave your iPad at home and you only have your iPhone with you. All right, so the next way to take notes, and this is actually somewhat of a hidden feature on the iPad in that not a lot of people know about it. And it's one tool that I definitely underuse myself, and that's the ability to take notes from the lock screen. So as you can see, the iPad Pro is asleep. The screen is not on. But if I take my Apple Pencil and I tap the screen, immediately a new note opens here that I'm able to write, sketch, draw out my ideas, and then when that closes, and you can set those lock screen notes, if you go into settings, and then you go down to, where is it? Notes, where's notes, I'm missing it. There it is. And go down to uh, lock screen and control center, access notes from lock screen, and I have it right now set to always create a new note but you can have it resume from the last note you were working with. And uh, so that way you can pick up where you left off if your screen goes dark on you while you're in a meeting or whatnot. All right, so there's one more feature for taking notes on the iPad I wanna show you. And that is as of iPad OS 15, which was released last fall, you can use a new feature called Quick Notes. And so to trigger that feature, what you do is you actually swipe up from the bottom right-hand corner, you can use your finger, or the Apple Pencil, and it opens up this little tiny note-taking section. You can save links in here. If I was in Safari, it would automatically populate the link. You could use the same features I was just showing you in the Notes app, text recognition, highlighting, copying, pasting digital text, and handwriting, and all of that. And what happens is, when you're done with this, it actually saves to a Quick Notes folder in the Notes app itself. That way you have easy access to it whenever you're ready. You could also move this around on the screen to get it out of your way if you need it in a different corner. If you want to temporarily hide it, you could swipe it off the screen and you can see by this little tab here that it's there and it's ready and available. All right, so there is one way to control how you access Quick Notes and that's by going into the Settings app, selecting Apple Pencil, 
And then down at the bottom here is pencil gestures. There's a left corner swipe that'll take a screenshot that you can then annotate, save, send on, whatever it is you wanna do. I'm gonna delete that. Or like we accessed it from the bottom right hand corner, but you could actually change that to turn it off. You could have screenshot for both corners, however you want. I'm gonna switch it back to what it was at by default and leave it there. All right, so that was three different ways you can quickly and easily take notes on your iPad using the Apple Pencil, as well as Apple's tablet of your choice. Once again, I'm Jason Cipriani. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you have any other ways you like to take notes on your iPad. I definitely would love to hear from you. And as always, make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more tech news, as well as how-tos just like this one.